verse 7 say that even after four years, so he did this consecutively. See, he laid a foundation and he set up an opportune time that he was going to come up against his dad. Say, so Absalom said to the king, let me go to Hebron to offer a sacrifice. See, he was doing all this while he was with his daddy. Don't you think he was still loving on his daddy? Still eating at his daddy's table? Come on here, still worshiping God with his daddy? He did this for four years. And then he told his dad, let me go to Hebron to offer a sacrifice to the Lord and to fulfill a vow that I made to him. Now he's telling his dad a lie. Let me go to Hebron and I'm going to worship God because I made a promise to him. It said, for a while, your servant was at Gushan in Abram. He said, I promised a sacrifice to the Lord in Hebron if he would bring me back to Jerusalem. All right, the king told him, go and fulfill your vow. So Absalom went to Hebron, but while he was there, he sent secret messages to all the tribes of Israel to stir up a rebellion against the king. See, he started talking. Talking against his daddy. Yeah, he said he was going to help y'all, but he changed his mind. See, he said he was going to bring, he was going to give y'all some food. He said that, that they were going to help you. You asked them to lend wow. you some money, and they said they was going to do it. Wow. But now he went telling everybody about it. Wow. Come on. They said they were going to help you with a job, but now everybody, everybody tripping about it. They said now they ain't got no more position available. Exactly. Come on, see, you got to understand that now the enemy has released secrets because, see, when we open up our mouth and you tell the wrong person the wrong thing, you tell them your thing, but then you tell it to a person that's got jealousy, witchcraft, all jealousy, all those different kind of things, you tell them what you want God to do. Now that spirit on the inside of them going to go and talk about you that's going to now send warfare to you because you gave them the permission to do it by Telling them. Oh, wow. Amen. Oh, girl, God don't bless me with that car. Oh, girl, God don't pay all my bills. Oh, girl, God don't did all that. Oh, he working it out. He working it out. And then now you don't told it to somebody who got jealousy on the inside of them. And so now they get home. Who she thinks she is? Now she thinks she got a little money. Now she thinks she got a new car. Now she sitting there because she got some new clothes. And now she thinks she better than everybody. It, it ain't that you thinking that. Now they think because see, now you will open up your mouth and you don't spoke too much. You don't told them what God doing. And see, now the enemy is getting ready to set up an attack against you because you the one helped the enemy to fight you because you opened up your big fat mouth when you should have been quiet. I sure did. I sure did. I sure did. Jesus help me. It says here. So Absalom went to Hebron. And he told the people, he said, as soon as you hear the ram, he told them, as soon as you hear the ram's horn, his message read, you are to say, Absalom has been crowned king in Hebron. See, he even spoke it in their ear, what they ought to say. And see, that's what the enemy is saying about you. So you don't spoke to somebody, girl, I can't wait till I get that job. That job mine. But you don't talk to that person that's jealous of you. And see, now she don't spoke it out her mouth. I hope she don't get it. Now, because it's been released in the atmosphere, because you got to understand we are spiritual beings. You got to understand Satan is the prince of the air. So now that those words have been spoken, now the demon said, okay, now I can go take it. Since she don't say that she hopes she don't get the job. Now that spirit from the go to the person who said that they were going to hire you and put that thought in their mind. Now I don't think she right for the job. I don't think, I told him I was going to help him, but I don't think I'm going to help him now. Come on here. I thought that I wanted to be in a relationship with you, but I just don't think so now. Because, see, we went and spoke something too soon, not hearing from Holy Spirit, but on spoke some stuff. Now you finna have to turn around and have to deal with all this backlash that you don't released. It says here, that it said, verse 11 say he took 200 men from Jerusalem with him as guests, but they knew nothing of his attentions. Come on, y'all. Let's come go with me. You don't even know you going with folk. Girl, come ride with me. 
Not even realizing that she's sleeping with this girl husband and you sitting up here riding with her and she know, the woman know you sleeping with her husband but then she told you, sister in the Lord, come ride with me girl. Then she go and blow the horn and she see the lady on the porch. So now you don't even realize it. She thinking you cloaking for her and you going to be her sister in the Lord. Come on. Uh, come ride with me. Don't even know why you riding with her because she want to act like she with you. Or better yet, girl, I'm going to come to your church because I want to make them think that I'm with you when I'm really not with you. I want to hear what they talk about. I want to hear what they teach. So I can go back and say, do what they doing, da, da, da. You know, they, they saying this and this is how they do this. Come on. These spirits, that's what they do. Right. And just waiting on you to open up your mouth and you start talking. So these people went and didn't even know what they were doing. Say so verse 12 said, while Absalom was offering the sacrifice, he sent for Athaphiel, one of David's counselors who lived in Galah. Soon many others also joined Absalom in the conspiracy game momentum. When I looked up that word, it said that these people were so formidable that they were strong and they were difficult to defeat. That he even sent for one of his daddy counselors and told him, come on and go with me. Man don't even know why he coming. Where he going? We just walking. Don't realize they going to the kingdom to, to, to show David. We, they, they thinking they just walking with David's son, not realizing that David's son on, on commit betrayal and treachery to his father. So these people got hidden agendas. The reason why they want to be with you. The reason why they want to act like they down with you. And in this particular picture, it was his son. So why am I saying?